Hello, welcome to our video on how to use Milne Search. In this video, we will be going over where to access Milne Search and how to use the search tool to find various sources. First, please go to the Milne Library website. Take note of the Milne Search bar below the top menu. This search bar lets you quickly search for sources. However, we recommend using the Advanced Search. You can access the Advanced Search feature by clicking on the Advanced Search link on the bottom left below the search bar. Once you get to the Advanced Search page, go to the upper right and select Sign In. Next, select the Oneonta login and use your Oneonta credentials to sign in. Once you are signed in, you will see your name in the top right corner. Next, underneath Search For, make sure that Milne Search is selected. This allows you to browse the content of all the library's databases. Next, you'll want to add your search terms related to the topic you're interested in finding resources about. For example, let's say we have a research assignment and we want to know how sleep affects the grades of college students. From this question, we can pull out a few key terms like student, college or university, sleep, and GPA. You can use a variety of keywords and Boolean operators. To connect key terms, you need to use what are called Boolean operators. These are accessed through the drop-down list. As a refresher on Boolean operators, and narrows the search by pulling results with both key terms, or broadens the search by selecting sources with either key term. Not excludes a word from the search results. In this example, we are using or to broaden the search and include synonyms like college, and university, while using AND to ensure that all of the terms are in the search results. We put phrases like grade point average in quotation marks to ensure that it is included in the search results. Now that we have all the related search terms, select search. The key terms we used will be highlighted in the search results. To the left side of the search results, there are various filters that help limit search results to sources that are relevant to our needs. To filter for only peer-reviewed, under availability, select peer-reviewed journals, and then select apply filters. You can also further narrow your search results by filtering by publication date. This narrows the search results to articles that were published in a specified time period. For example, let's filter from 2010 to 2024 to get recent studies on this topic. If you are signed into your library account, you can save your search query, meaning the keywords and filters you used, and save individual sources that appear in the search results. Once you click on the pin icons, you can access your saved searches and sources by clicking on the pin icon in the upper right corner by your name. To find sources that you pinned, select Saved Records. This will bring you to the list of items you have saved. To view that source, select the title. Another helpful feature is that you can add labels to your saved sources to organize them. Once you add labels to your sources, you can filter by these labels or search for them. To find your saved search queries, select Saved Searches. Any saved queries will appear. Click on the result to go back to that specific search. Back to the search results page, you'll notice that the article we pinned is highlighted. If we want to read this article, click on the title. Once we select the title, we're taken to this page 
which gives us more details about the article. By scrolling down, we can find the description of the article. This will help us decide if we want to read it. If we want to read the article, scroll up and below full text availability, the databases the article is accessible in will appear in a list. Click one of the links to the article. Once we click on the link, we will be redirected to the article and can begin reading it. Another feature on the results page is the resource type filter. If you're looking for sources other than peer-reviewed journal articles, this could be a helpful tool. This filter allows you to select from a variety of source types. For example, say we want newspaper articles. We can select that filter. And by using the resource type filter and selecting newspaper articles, our search results are now all newspaper articles. In this video, we went over Milne search features and filters. Thank you for watching this video. If you have more questions, please reach out to us at the library.